What's up guys, Danny with Lanier Lawn Care and today I want to talk a little bit about some mower maintenance. So today I want to talk about how often do you check your belts and check your oil and things like that. You know, I found that I check my oil and stuff a lot. I even change the oil on my equipment very often, more regular than I actually should. But, uh, you know, I wash my equipment a lot and I really don't pay attention to the other things that I should be paying attention to. So I was out mowing a yard the other day and what had happened was I'd, I heard this weird noise and I was like, what is that noise? And uh, I shut the blades off just to see and it quit. And then I shut them back on and it started doing it again. And I said, well, okay, you know, maybe it's just the pulley or something. I'm not sure. I didn't see nothing really wrong. And uh, I shut the blades back off. And when I did, I happened to notice right where I had shut the blades off at, there was a small crack showing in there. If you can see that. Uh, here, let me move out of the way. Maybe you can see it better. Um, and, you know, come to find out, that's, that's pretty, pretty thick through there. That's probably three quarters of the way through that belt. And... <clears throat> didn't expect it by any means and uh, so you know I mean it's apparently it's been eating away at this thing for some time I don't know if you can see that let me uh, see if it'll show here maybe maybe not okay um, so anyway but uh, I'm sure you can see that um, so it's apparently been eating away at this belt for for a little bit of time now and uh, I've never checked this belt I've got uh, over a hundred hours on the the grandstand, and which ain't very many. But uh, you know, I was told that hey, a belt could last anywhere from a hundred hours to two thousand hours. Just depends. Um, so I'm not sure what exactly happened to this belt. You got me on that one. But I started calling around because I needed a belt. And, uh, you know, the couple places I did call, they wanted $160 for this belt. 160 bucks, and it blew me out of the water. I said, wow, really, 160 bucks? But, uh, anyway, I called, called another dealer. I ended up getting it for 109 with tax, uh, and he brought it to my town. So, uh, you know, customer service from a dealer is, is excellent. And uh, so I ended up taking it, pulling this one off, putting the other one on, and it just sh went to show me that there's other maintenance things that I need to be watching out for as well. And this is one of them that I, I let slide a lot, and uh, it almost got me. It almost got me. I would have been real upset if I would have been on the property in this snap. So, you know, uh, the next step in my, my uh, lesson learned stage is buy a spare belt and because it's real easy to put on and so i'm probably going to end up buying another one of these belts uh from mocan uh, power equipment again uh, rob's been a great guy and uh so you know belt maintenance guys check the small things that you never think of now a lot of you probably think of this me i'm spaced off and i'm almost i'm worried more about my maintenance my plugs and you know uh, my oil change and things like that uh, more than I am the belt because I don't ever really think about the belt until it caught me and uh, it almost got me and then I was like whoa hang on a minute I need to start thinking about this so just a quick video on some uh, mower maintenance guys check your belts keep them I, I, I don't know you know check them every 10 hours every 20 hours uh, before you load up in the morning check them um, would probably be the best thing to do because it's a quick look over and then you're good. So uh, belt maintenance. Thanks for watching guys. Like, comment, subscribe and we'll see you in the next one.